help Rodney make this free throw. It's very hard for him. <laughs> oh! And I jinxed it. He missed. And I jinxed it. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> the jinx. Pop out. Oh, that's all you. Yeah, good drive. Good take. Let's go. Let's go. All right, only down two. You guys want to come out in a zone at the start of third? It might confuse them. Yeah, yeah, we could throw something off. I like that, Coach. I mean, whoa, whoa not Coach. Not Coach. Captain, 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 Captain. Good pass. Yes, Go. Mm. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot it. That's green. Green. Man, <laughs> if I make that. <laughs> The season is rolling on, just around the midpoint. Here we go. For teams really struggling, what's the locker room like right now? Yeah, it's a tough situation, B.A., when you're just trying to find some footing. You would think by 25 or 30 games in, these roles would have been established, but coaches are still trying to find answers to get some consistency out of what's available to them because you expect that from one another. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Lugans Dort out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. Then it's Josh Giddy. Then there's Holmgren. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the point guard <clears throat> position. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Back to Pokashevsky. Outside Giddy. Shot clock at five. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. Rebound by the Heat. They want to keep rolling here following the win against Brooklyn. Hey guys, can we show some love to the defense in that game? They were relentless. They were dominant. It was just a great performance overall. Yeah, last game was pretty impressive stuff on that end of the floor, just getting up near shooters and blocking as many shots as they did. Here's Pokashevsky after the basket by Miami. And it's Martin with the rebound. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. MP finds Adebayo. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Adebayo's got the second bucket on the night. Three out of three, perfect start. Let's see how long they can ride this wave. Well, we're starting to see the pieces fall into place in OKC. Their number two overall pick, Chet Holmgren, showing tremendous promise. And the chemistry he's developing with Josh Giddy and SGA makes them very, very intriguing. MP, the pass to Lowry. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And how about the heart right there from Kyle Lowry just driving in there and playing the game tough. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Miami. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Back to Adebayo. Inside. The teardrop. Count that one. MP's gotten his second bucket. Well, the big news for MP coming off the court. He has just inked a brand new shoe deal. And you know, from what I heard, he went with Nike as the shoe company. Big get for Nike as well as for MP. And the Thunder call time here. Last time they met was in Oklahoma City. Last time these teams met up, they practically got run over. But to be fair, they took issue with some of the calls they were handed. Yeah, they wound up with a lot of foul trouble, but that's on them. The officials were calling it tight, and they never really adjusted. They kept committing fouls, kept complaining, and the game kept getting out of control.
here in the first just under two and a half minutes played so far. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Here's Pokashevsky and here's Giddy covered by MP. Looking to end the run and it's Giddy missing. There's a little bit of pressure on him but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. And it did not take long for Josh Giddy to find a place in this league as a taller point guard with incredible vision. This guy does a little bit of everything on the floor. And the Thunder in possession here. After the basket by Miami. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Toward outside. Giddy against MP. That's good from Giddy on the assist from Dort. As for Giddy's quick start in the NBA, he recorded his first triple double at age 19, Brent. Yeah, pretty remarkable, BA. The youngest player ever to get a triple double in this league. And this is the kind of guy who just makes passes that other players don't even see or even think about. So his instincts, they're off the chart. A line change here for Miami. Deciding to change it up. So it's Miami now. A 21 point lead, the biggest in the game. Butler finds Adebayo. That one goes in. Adebayo's gotten four this quarter. And maybe that's why he's nicknamed Bam. Taking contact. Bam, bam. We've got Caleb Martin. MP is out there with Kyle Lowry. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the five spot. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Back to Kitty. Can't get it to drop. And Miami the other way now. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Nets put on a show. He picked up 22 points, and it was his highest point total of the season. And his effort helped end their losing streak. He'll be looking to inspire them with another win tonight. It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Just five on the clock from deep giddy. Adebayo grabs the board. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Pass to Martin. The assist goes to MP. They have no answer defensively inside. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. The Thunder with another miss. Not a bad shot from the mid-range, but D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Here's Dort after the basket by Miami. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got rebound number five here tonight. Martin finds MP. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Pokashevsky. A minute 42 left to play in the first half of basketball. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. Miami has gone three of four from distance in this game. Hey, we see plenty of three-point shots every game, Brent. Would you say it's still a shooter's league? Yeah, I would say it's still a scorer's Thunder league, ball. BA, rather than a shooter, Check because, Thunder. look, a, a lot of people who take ball. shots, uh, there aren't too many ball. that make them efficiently. So now that ball. part is, is going Jimmy. nowhere.
and through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Heat running away with this one. And we'll be back with you shortly. The Thunder, 17. first half we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second it's been a clinic out there by bam out of bio when he got a good position and they got the ball to him he was automatic yeah we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively but he's going to keep going at it taking a look at the thunder they've got josh giddy Holmgren is out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the small forward position. Stolen by Giddy. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of the deadliest drivers Shea in the league. Gilgis Coach Nick Alexander. Nurse of the Raptors said, quote, his first step is unbelievable. It's hard for anybody to keep him in front of him. And once he blows by you, he can slow down, he can sidestep. He's got a lot of things going. Brian? Well, it's fun to watch, Ali. Thanks for that. He gets it in there. Some gritty play from MP. Other guys might have backed off because of the contact. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Pokashevsky. Dort outside. It's Giddy on the wing. Rebounded by Butler. Butler's got four rebounds in the game. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. So much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Now Giddy. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got rebound number eight now. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always want on the floor. Here's King. Good! And the assist goes to Adebayo. Adebayo's got three assists in the game. The Thunder have got just two of six in the second half. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Giddy with it to halt the run. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Lowry outside. And it's King missing. And for the Thunder, they're shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Gilgis Alexander against Adebayo. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one on Martin. He gets really smooth sometimes. Checked in for Williams. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. 
to the middle. Here's Haslam, and that one drops for him. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Heat. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Greg. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so they'll chalk up another win and put themselves at 31 wins on the year. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They wish they could have seen more of these guys. They've got Dwayne Denton. MP is out there with Max Struess. And it's Haslam in at the four. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Giddy against Struess. And it's Giddy off the drive. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Just three to shoot over MP. And Gilgis Alexander missing. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. That one falls. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Muscala, the pass to Giddy. Here's Mann. Right through the D for the layup. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. MP way outside. And the miss. So no problem for Miami as they get the win. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time. home safely, and we hope to see you again at the next event. Hey, man. Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do.
Bring it in, fellas. We got a lot of work to do. We're gonna work on putting the ball in the basket today. After all, that's the primary objective of this game. Coaches, set up the drill. Let's get it, fellas. see someone who values the mid-range game. Well, let's see how this works. Just like 